Manapreet Kaur, uh, you know, I just was curious to find out how you bridge these two worlds, Wikipedia and Forensic Science. Actually, I'll have to start from the very beginning. Yeah. Because I actually, Sadeep is our administrator and he introduced me to Wikipedia. And then when I was at Punjabi University, uh, I took classes of uh, forensic diploma. The, they are usually constables who come to Punjabi University for their diploma in forensic science. And when we were teaching them, we got to know that there are certain people who are not well versed with this English language. And uh, um, they could not understand the basic concepts of science because of this language barrier. Yeah. And uh, because I was discussing this thing with my friends one day, and Sadiq then told me, then why don't you write for Wikipedia and you'll be, have, you'll be having content for the people who don't have access to knowledge. Forensic science is a highly technical and complex uh, language, right? Uh, actually, to the people who are not in the field, it yeah. sounds technical and tough. But otherwise, if you uh, like come on the other side of the table, you'll see it's not that tough. It's basically the application of basic sciences. So we just have to see the basics which are already there. We just have to use them and apply them in the regular day-to-day -day life. To see. For example, we know that the blood that runs in every individual is different. DNA is different. We just have to perform the analysis. To, uh, you make touch. it sound. You make it sound very simple. It is very simple. Actually. Anyway, but uh, last August, you all organized this very successful Wiki India conference. Tell us a little about it. How long it took you to do it? What motivated you? You were one of the key organizers there. Yes. Uh, so it all started in Wikimania 2014, where everybody, like from CIS, there were two representatives, Ravi and Sadiq, they all had this discussion that there are so many people out there who are working for Wikipedia, but they didn't get the chance to attend such conferences. And we've not had a conference in India for a good half uh, yes, decade. We, the last conference we had was in 2011. Yeah. So they thought, why don't we organize one Wikimania in India so that everybody gets a chance to learn from these experiences. But Wikimania, as you know, is a very huge event, yeah. and uh, it is very difficult to organize. Such right. an event, and we had no experience of organizing any event. So we thought that it's better to organize one conference to see our potential as a community, to see whether we can organize an event on such a large scale or not. And that is where the plan of having Wiki Conference India came up. So we started working on it on, from October 2015. Wow. That is when we started having these plans of uh, organizing the conference. Uh, we started looking for the venues, probable venues. And uh, then we met so many different institutes and we spoke to them about Wikipedia and we asked them about their opinions on the same. And then we uh, were convinced when we, we were able to convince one institute that is Chandigarh Group of Colleges to hold that, uh, to host that conference. And after everything was finalized, we placed our bid for the conference and we won it. And we were flying actually. We were very happy that we got the chance to organize the conference. And thankfully, because we all are friends turned Wikimedians, there was no point we had any kind of fights related, uh, related to organizing event. And you are not Wikipedians turned friends. You no, are we are all friends turned. I see. I see. Yes. I see. So uh, we knew everybody's strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. So we assigned tasks to them accordingly, accordingly. And everybody was so excited and enthusiastic about organizing this conference that we never faced any kind of problem related to managing something, ticket booking, or organizing the basic details, uh, logistics which are required for the conference. And the main work started when the budget got approved and we got the funding from Wikimedia Foundation. I can't tell you in few minutes. I know, it's a big story, it's a big story. As Ashwin yeah. sir suggested, I'll have to draft one document on do's and don'ts True. of the conference. True. But, but, you know, where do you see yourself today as far as Wikipedia goes? Oh my God. Uh, where's I your contribution and uh, what's your role that you prefer to play? Uh, actually, when I initially joined Wikimedia, my simple reason of joining Wikimedia was to create content. That's it. Yeah. Actually, initially I thought I'll write one uh, book in my native language so that people yeah. have content in that. But then Satik told me that you can create articles and can be available to anybody who is sitting across the globe and can read it. So your focus and, uh, is on forensics? No. no. Yes, my focus is on forensics. In fact, I have tried changing my preferences, but I end up working on forensics only. So uh, my contribution is more in offline activities and outreach activities and lesser on online. And one of your students has done 100 day Wiki? No, uh, actually five of my students have joined Wikipedia and two of them have completed 100 Wiki Days Challenge. That is uh, in forensics mainly? In forensics. So we are going to have this hugely lopsided development of Hopefully. forensics in Punjab yes. and the rest in of the country will have nothing? Huh? No, in Hindi and Punjabi. We are not doing solely in Punjabi, we are doing it in Hindi and you are leaving Hindi out Hindi English. Uh, nahin, uh, today I have started reading articles Great. in English Wikipedia as well and I hope they don't block me. <laughs> Thanks and all the best. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. you.